So the Clark transform works in the time domain and it works on this simple principle. If I know these are all sinusoidal waves, I know they're all the same amplitude, they're all the same frequency, and they're equally spaced 120 degrees apart, then if I measure the three voltages simultaneously, I can calculate alpha and beta at any point in time. So it's very, very simple linear calculation here. So alpha is simply my voltage on the A phase minus half of my B phase minus half of my C phase times two thirds. Oh, I can calculate beta in an equivalent way. So we can now plot alpha and beta through time. And of course, if I were to plot the modulus of those, what I'm actually plotting is the instantaneous amplitude. I don't have to wait until one of my points coincides with the maximum in order to work the amplitude. At any point in time, I can work out what that amplitude should be. And we can see that enveloping function here on the signal that uh, Mitch was talking about earlier. There's our three phase signal from his uh, example. And we can see this envelope is being calculated here by.